Hello everyone, um, this is my third tutorial series on how to 100 Blender videos and in this case I'm going to be demonstrating a very simple but very handy feature that I just discovered the other day after watching someone else's Blender video and it's the select well you won't be able to see it here but it's the select similar area feature and um, the way I'm going to demonstrate it is by doing a tutorial on how to create a golf ball and that will demonstrate how handy that feature comes into effect so we're simply going to start by add mesh ecosphere and bung up the subdivisions to 4 so let's zoom in and you can see the sphere is basically made by a whole bunch of triangles. We want to change this because we want to create the dimples of the golf ball so by going here on the object modifier add modifier and bevel it you can now see more of a uh, one two three four five six hexagonal shapes that make up the golf ball and this is basically where we're going to be adding the dimples of the golf ball so if I go into edit mode, you can see that the triangular shape are still actually in place even though in object mode it looks like the hexagonal shapes. So let's apply it. Go back to edit mode and you can see now they're actually hexagonal. If I press A on the keyboard it deselects everything. If I press A again it selects it. We want to deselect everything, so I'll press A one more time. And here I want to pick at the bottom this feature called Face Select. So if I click on that, I'm now able to simply select individual faces with a click of one button. What we really need to do here is select all those individual faces. We don't want to select those faces here. We just want to select the big areas. And to do that, we could manually select everything. But as you look around the ball, there are hundreds of these faces. So it's going to take a very long time to manually do it. And that's the way I've done it in the past. And it, it's just a nightmare. So let's just select one of those faces. And this is the feature that I would like to demonstrate to everyone. Select one of the faces. Go to the select button here on the menu, go to similar and then area. You will now see that almost all the faces have been selected. One or two of them have not. I don't know what that reason is. For this one, for example, the face is quite different to the rest of them. Maybe that's the reason. But the reason the other ones haven't been selected, I'm not too sure. So here you have to manually select them, but at least it's much quicker than having to do every single one. So press shift on your keyboard and right hand click and just do the same for the rest of them. Shift on the keyboard, right hand click on the mouse and continue doing that. And if I press Z to make it see through, you'll be able to see if you've missed one. I've missed one here. And that looks okay. Now we're going to press E on the keyboard to extrude the areas that we've selected. So we press E once. If we move our mouse to try to extrude it, you can see it doesn't actually extrude evenly. You want it to go downwards towards the center of the ball but it doesn't really. So after we pressed E, press escape and then press S for scale and now scale by moving your mouse. You just want to scale it down just that little bit to about there. Let's go back to object mode. It's beginning to look a bit like a golf ball but the dimples are too hexagonal in shape. So if we go to again the same tab here, object modifier, add modifier, subsurf, 
it starts to become circular, the dimples. Maybe move it up to two views to make it even smoother. And also press smooth for shading. And one last thing I do is I go to view and I just change the, uh, the view to, I'm not sure if we're in ortho, where are we at the moment? We're up here, user pers uh, pers perspective view, I think it's called. So we can change that to the ortho view. And you can see here that you've created what looks very similar to a golf ball. And you can also see that the dimples are different sizes, which is very common on golf balls. So this is more about demonstrating how to use this select similar area feature rather than showing you how to use a golf ball because it demonstrates quite nicely how that feature can come in handy to save you a lot of time. I hope this has come in handy and um, look forward to the next tutorial.